Alexander Brooks recently contracted my office about his student debt. Alexander's from Normal, Illinois, graduated in 2006 with a degree in computer networking from ITT. That's a for-profit institution. Alex never got a job in his field. He drives a school bus to pay his rent, even though he has this degree, so-called degree in computer networking. He said he'd like to get married to his longtime girlfriend, but he doesn't want to have her share in the burden of his student loan debt. When asked about the quality of education he received from ITT, which you're going to find advertised on television every time you turn it on, here's what he said. ITT fell short of preparing me for what happens after graduation. Although the school provided me with a degree, the program did not provide any of the necessary certifications needed to get a job in the computer field. Alex would like to go back to school, but you know what? He can't borrow any more money. When he graduated six years ago from ITT, a for-profit school, his total loan balance was $40,000 when he graduated. Six years later, his balance is $50,000. Six years of payments falling further and further behind. His private student loans have interest rates up to 9.25%, almost double the federal student loan rate. Alex isn't alone. Many of his fellow students from ITT have the same trouble repaying their loan. ITT's three-year cohort default rate is over 29 percent. That means that within three years of entering repayment status, almost a third of students have already defaulted. In 2009, ITT received 85.8 percent of all of its revenue, this for-profit school, from the federal student aid programs. It was the third largest recipient of GI Bill funds, receiving $99 million in the school year 2010-2011. If GI Bill funds and other federal aid were counted, ITT would likely be at or close to receiving 100% of its revenue from the federal government, totally federally subsidized. Federal student aid money is just about all that keeps this institution alive, running, generating profits, paying handsome salaries to those who own it. What do the taxpayers get in return for this investment? More Americans with student loan debt that they'll never be able to pay off that's not a good deal for taxpayers or students.